It looks like the people at customs have had their way with this box. What can be in it? Ooh, I've been waiting for this one for a while now. This is the newest bag from Mindship here. It is a sling bag and this is called the Photocross 13. And uh, this, is, this is part... <coughs> Will you believe that I am still sick? Definitely the plague. This is part of the new series of sling bags that um, Mindshift Gear have brought out. Now Mindshift Gear, if you don't already know, is the sister company to Think Tank, who make a lot of really cool bags. And this one promises to be one of the better ones. Now, in my first video that I made for PhotoZones a few weeks, months back, um, was a review of the Think Tank Turnstyle 10. Turnstyle 10. And uh, that bag has proved to be one of my favorites, but it's a little too small for taking on, um, what is it that I'm trying to say? It's, it's a little bit too small for going on a shoot with when I need two camera bodies. So the idea behind this one is to, it, I asked for a slightly bigger bag, which as you can see, seems to be fairly big, um, so that I can take two camera bodies and also pack my laptop in and there you go so there were my the, my laptop which is a 13 inch macbook pro will fit in there and so far this is looking good um, that's the sling it's got a little bit of a strap over there and this is the, the waist buckle. So I think we can take that off. It's, similar, it's a similar design to the turnstiles, but this is made for outdoor photographers. There you go, that comes off like that. Yeah, sorry. And that's where you would tuck it in to get it out of the way. So I would think do this. And I'm just gonna do this right now because this will never be used for me, for my purposes. Maybe one day I'll go hiking and take all my camera gear with me. But for now, it's not gonna be used at all. Okay, well that's the bag. So I'm really happy with the way this looks. Oh, there's some other stuff in here. What's this? That's another clip. And another one. Not sure where those will go. But we will find out. And no, you're not listening to Thomas Heaton. It's just me doing a few impersonations. This is me Northern England accent. handle over here there's an adjust it seems to be adjustable here um, these are obviously loops that you can add various attachment uh, accessories onto um, around the back down the bottom here it looks like it's a nice waterproof casing so even though there is a, uh, a rain cover Fuel pixel, focus please. There we go. A rain cover. This looks pretty weather resistant also. Which is good news. And in the front we have your pouch for various other bits and pieces. And obviously the, uh, I don't know if you can see that there. This looks to me like it is a kind of a 
weather sealing on the zippers as well, which is really good for outdoor uh, photography. That's uh, pretty cool. A little metallic feeling zip pull. It looks good. I don't know what this little flap is down here. Feels like it's a bit rubbery. Rubbery. Taylor rubbery. Rob robbery. Rubbery, robbery. Which one is it? That is obviously to adjust the height of the sling. So if you do that, something is going to happen. Oh dear. I don't quite know what that's for, but oh, this is great. This is what I've been looking for. A place to put your water bottle. So when you're out on a, on a hike, you put your water bottle in here. And it's also very handy for when you're, uh, when you're doing a photo shoot at an event. And you can put your water bottle in there because even this morning I was on a shoot and I had to have me old uh, Think Tank Retrospective 7, which is not water bottle friendly. So this is going to be great. I look forward to using this a lot. Right, next steps. Let's have a look at what it looks like and it's on me back. Right, okay. So, where's the bag? Where's my gear? Here it is. This is the whole reason why I like this bag because I now have something in front of me and it's easy to open and I can get my gear right out of here. There you go, that's a Olympus EM1 with the battery grip of 75 millimeter. Here's another EM1 with another battery grip and a 12 to, 50, 12 to 40 millimeter lens. Shove them back in here. Shove them back in. Be on me merry way. Now I'll tell you something. Um, this morning I was on a photo shoot, uh, an event that I was uh, was doing, um, and let me just sort this camera out. Yeah. All right. Okay, so this event that I was doing, um, I used the Retrospective 7, which uh, is the bag we would have seen in previous videos that I've done. And I love that bag, but, um, you know, as I mentioned, it's, it's a little bit awkward when I have to put the strap over my, my shoulder like that. And I've got this bag that's hanging over there. It gets quite kind of heavy. This one, because it's, it's, it's a lot looser around my shoulders, um, I'm not feeling any tension on my shoulder over here. It's a lot easier to access the gear from. So I just swing it around, open it up, and the gear is right there. So, you know, if I'd had this this morning, it came a day too late for the shoot, but anyway. Um, if I'd had this this morning, it would have made my shoot a lot easier to deal with. So um, I'm really happy to try this one out on my next shoot that will hopefully not take too long, although we're getting towards the end of the year. And of course, the freelance photography world gets very quiet towards the end of the year. But let's not give up hope. There will be new work coming in soon. So anyway, I'll chat to you guys later. All right. So yesterday's shoot that I did was for a company some of you may know called uh, Petronas. Who Petronas? Anyway, part of the engine or engine is part of that group, and they've launched a new um, range of car care products in South Africa. And Durban, where I live, is the uh, the pilot for this particular rollout. Anyway, so they called me back last night, and um, there is another little shoot happening today which gives me the perfect opportunity to put this new camera bag to the test. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pack it with the stuff that I absolutely have to take with. So here are my memory cards. They're going to go in there. I probably won't need these because this is only an hour long shoot, but they'll go in there. And um, 
Here are my extra batteries. They will also go in here. All right, that's all that needs. Oh, uh, the lens cleaning cloth, which I almost always forget to take with. And we'll go in there. Okay, so that part is done. <coughs> and in here, um, I did mess around a little bit with these dividers. They are a bit big, um, but anyway, they'll suffice. So what I'm going to do is um, actually what I before I go any further. There are two extra dividers that came with the bag, so I'm going to put these in here just to shorten the depth where each camera will go. So there, that'll be camera number one, and we will live in there for now. Okay. Camera number two will go into this one, but I also want to take my seven and a half mil lens, fisheye lens, and I've got to take a flash with me just in case as well. So those guys are going to live there now. The, the flash will go in there quite easily, and this lens, um, I'm going to have to put it in the bottom somehow, keep him in there. Um, I do have another little case for this that will fit this and I think I might just go and get that. Let me go and get that. Hold on. Hold on. Right, I'm back. And uh, these are the two little cases that I found that could probably house the little Samyang. This one's a bit big. This is actually the Sigma case. I think this is for the 16 mil. This lens will fit in here and be very well protected. Um, so that should actually work. I think that'll do just fine. I may have to reverse the hood on the 12 to 40. So let's have a look and see. I'll make sure I'm not going out of frame with the overhead camera here. All right, so there we go. Oh no, that's not gonna close. Okay, so plan B. Let's get, uh, let's get the, wait a minute, let's get the Samyang out of there. Now this is an old, I think it's a Nikon case that I had for a Nikon lens many years ago. Not sure which lens it was, but would you look at that, it fits perfectly. All right, that looks a lot better, and that is definitely going to close. Oh, wait a second. Camera straps. Those are the uh, Peak Design leash. Okay, I'll find the right thing. Hey, would you look at that? It's ready to go on its first job. I like it. Oh yes, remember yesterday. When I unpacked this bag, um, I was wondering what these two straps over here are for. So in the instructions, which you'll see over here, you can actually use these to secure your tripod to the back of the bag using these little hookies there and there's some more hookies over here. So these guys would just um, you unhook this clip here like so, and you slide it in there, you clip it on, come on now, like that, and you can attach the other one to this side over here, or you can adjust the length of this, and you can actually attach other equipment or other stuff, personal items to the back of the bag. Um, where's that picture? There, like that. So if you had like a, a windbreaker or something like that, fold it up, attach it to the back and you're good to go. 
Great, that's it. Let's take this bag on its first assignment. Okay, so I just got back from my shoot this morning, which was part two of the shoot that I did yesterday and today for Petronas Engine and their new product uh, called Durance, Durance, something along those lines. This is my new best buddy, Pedro. Pedro is the bag, it's the Mindshift. Um, I've got to get this right. Mindshift Photocross 13, which is a sling bag. Now, as I demonstrated yesterday, it's, uh, it's a pretty awesome bag. Um, I'm enjoying this a lot. So on the shoot today, I was able to have it on my back the whole time. I didn't feel any, you saw what I packed in. I didn't feel any strain at all. Getting the other camera out, once I had my first camera on the uh, Peak Design leash and had that dangling on, on my side, um, getting access to the second camera from this bag without putting the bag down on the ground was an absolute breeze. Um, best thing ever. There are a couple of things that I would you know, like to see improved. I think if the bag, if the inside was maybe, uh, say, two or three centimeters thicker, it would just make a really big difference for um, the mirrorless cameras that I've got with the grips on. You know, I don't have to have the two body grips. Um, previously, before I got the second grip, I used to use um, an L plate on the second body, which I may go back to doing, and that would, I think, free up a lot of space in the bag. So that's a definite possibility. But yeah, for um, the guys at Mindshift Gear, if they were to improve the size of this by just a centimeter or two, that would be really good. One thing I did, I can tell you, is that um, there is no ways I would be able to fit that laptop into this bag with those two cameras. So I'd have to definitely shave off the uh, the grip on the cameras before I put them into that into this into this bag with the laptop in. But on the whole, um, for a, a walk around bag that you want to go hiking with without taking too much gear, definite winner. Right, that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the Photocross 13, please put them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And of course, don't forget to use the link in the description to buy one of these bags directly from Mindshift Gear. You click on that link, I get a little commission. Not much, but it all helps and keeps me interested. All right, guys, so that's it from me. Until we speak again, sayonara.